Are you still a Taylor Swift fan? How is your love life? Are you still a Christian? How are you honestly? Are you still living with your guy roommates? Have you watched the Harry Potter movies? Hi beautiful best friend, my name is McCall and today I'm about to spill all my secrets <laughs> and I'm gonna do my makeup while I do that. I have a ton of new products to try so it's just gonna be a really fun video. Y'all asked some juicy questions on my Instagram, I gotta give it to you. First we're gonna moisturize and I'm trying these bronze drops, I've seen them all over TikTok. The first question is are you still a Taylor Swift fan? I don't know anymore, I just think absolutely I'm still a Taylor Swift fan, what do you mean? Asking that is like asking do you like to breathe air? So <laughs> after I went to the Olivia Rodrigo concert a lot of people were curious about that but you guys you can like two artists y'all know better I can like both of them and so can you I of course got questions about if I'm going to see the Eras tour again and you guys I'm about to spill some tea but first now I'm gonna try this say sun visor sunscreen and I'm gonna mix it with the NARS concealer a very nice workout Sephora named James told me to do this about the Eras tour as of right now and today I do not have tickets but oh my gosh I don't know if I should tell you guys this I'm working on a series right now called traveling with Taylor it's not affiliated with Taylor Swift she's going to five more cities on the Eras tour and I'm gonna to try to go to each city and attend one show. You guys? Okay, 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 okay. I am so excited about this idea also. Wow, that sunscreen is super glowy. The Traveling with Taylor series is not locked in stone. I am at the beginning stages of planning this. So if it doesn't happen, please give me grace. But I'm really gonna try to make this happen because I know you guys love my Eras Tour content. That is major tea. I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell y'all that. The most asked questions were about my love life. I'm gonna get to that in one second, I promise. But I got a lot of questions about if I'm going to any other concerts. I have tickets to go see Gracie Abrams. Woo! If you don't know Gracie, she has a song with Taylor, she opened on the Eras tour, she's a really cool artist. And then I want to see Billie Eilish, I don't have tickets for that, and then I want to see Sabrina Carpenter, but we'll see what happens. Y'all love my concert content the most, so I'm trying to go to a ton for y'all, and I also love concerts. Now for what you guys have all been waiting for, I guess. <laughs> when I told y'all to ask questions on my Instagram, I was really surprised by how many freaking people wanted to know about my love life. How was your love life dating anyone? Boyfriend or single Pringle? Are you single? Boy drama? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have a BF? Do you have a crush or boyfriend? Boyfriend's plural? Any boy team? What's going on your love life? How's your date? Like, boy, spill. Like, okay, I'm here to spill. For my contour, I'm using this Mario palette. It is my favorite, it's not new. For the last like five years, I have not spoken about my love life online. Over the years, I've talked to different guys, I've gone on dates, but for the most part, I just wasn't too concerned with boys. Until recently. <laughs> I just get so nervous that certain people are gonna watch this video. <laughs> this summer, I really put myself out there. I started going on dates with different people and talking to different guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a safe space, right? Y'all have my back, I have yours. A couple days ago, I went on a date with a guy. Mans was a gentleman. We spent the day together. He planned it out, he drove, he paid for my food, he opened all the doors. <laughs> I have no idea if that's gonna go anywhere. It was our first hangout, but that was a nice surprise. That's what I, I needed that. Before I say more, this is the best blush ever. It's from Benefit and it lasts all day, like genuinely. To build on this, one of you guys asked, describe your last situationship or talking stage. Prior to this man, we'll call him Marcus. So prior to Marcus, I was talking to a couple other guys, nothing serious. I mean, y'all know, talking stages are hard because you never know what's going on. You never know the other person's intention. Some of my other experiences this summer stressed me out. <laughs> my update for y'all is I have been talking to people, I have been going on dates and and we'll see where it goes. This is the best setting spray you will ever try. Ugh, refreshing, I was getting really hot. Side note, it is so hot in this room that I have an ice pack. I thought it was so sweet because a couple of you guys asked me, how are you? Someone even said, how are you honestly? I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you for asking. But I'm low-key having the best year of my life like high key. Every day I wake up with gratitude. And you know, life comes in season, so I've been so mindful about how good things are right now and I've just been soaking it all in. Okay, are you still living with your guy roommates? If you don't know, I lived in LA for about three years and I lived with my best friends. We're a friend group from high school, we've been friends for almost seven years and they happen to be all guys. I used to make so much content with them when I was living with them and no, we don't live together anymore because I actually moved back to my hometown and a lot of them did too. We are all like this to this day, I love them. I literally hung out with them two nights ago. The sad thing is I'm getting all ready but I have no where to go. Like after this video, I'm gonna take this off and go to the gym. <laughs> Next question, are you still a Christian? I've been super public about my faith journey and finding God, being a Christian, all of that. And recently I've got a lot of questions about my faith and how it's going, especially because I started drinking alcohol again. If you don't know, I gave up alcohol for a year, but I turned 21 this year and I wanted to drink. Let me reassure you right here, right now, that yes, I'm still a Christian. I need my faith. I would go insane if I didn't have Jesus. <laughs> you guys see the sparkles on my eyelids? I'm like living for this. I see the DMs. 
I see the comments. I know a lot of you guys are not happy that I'm drinking alcohol again, but I don't know what to tell you. Do you have any five-year plans? I thought this was a good question. I definitely have long-term career goals and stuff I want to do. One of my biggest goals is I really want to make merch. I don't know if anyone would want that, but please comment down below if you guys would be into me making merch. That is one of my biggest goals, genuinely. I really want to keep making my documentaries on YouTube. I haven't done one in a while. I bought a lip liner because my best friend Daniela always lines her lips and she looks so bomb and I want to be included. This is like the exact color of my lips. This is crazy. I'm feeling like a baddie. This is a question I've genuinely been avoiding. Have you watched the Harry Potter movies? Let's get into it. I posted a video where I read all the Harry Potter books for the first time. And in that video, I asked if you guys wanted me to watch the movies. So many of you said yes. Well, I watched the first one and I didn't like it. Like, I legit fell asleep during it. And I've heard they get better. No part of me wants to watch them because the first one, in my opinion, was boring. I'm sorry, please, no, please, forgive me. Wait, the lips are slaying though. Hey girl. I know that just ruined someone's day. If you watch the original video, then y'all know I loved the books. I just, I don't even want to watch the movie. I hate to say it, but I think the makeup's done. Y'all have so many more good questions, I didn't even get to half of them. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more videos like this. And you guys, thank you so much for 500,000 subscribers and a million followers on TikTok. What do you mean? I love you and subscribe for more adventures. Bye!